Hello, everybody. Welcome to Grace Bear Reviews. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Grace Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from No Label Brewing Company. These guys are out of Texas. Uh, this is their Perpetual Peace. And what this is is Scotch Ale slash We Heavy. Fairly big beer. Uh, this was sent to me by Brandon C. down in Texas. Uh, they're calling it a We Heavy Aged in Bourbon Barrels. And it's at 11.62%. And he, t he told me that it was a 2017 edition, uh, but I don't see anything written on the label. Uh, and how he knows that, I do not know. Maybe there's something written on the bottle somewhere, and I'll take a closer look when I come back for the final chug, see if there's anything printed on the bottle. A lot of times it's hard to see with these darker beers printed in black on a dark brown bottle. So, uh, But he did tell me it was a 2017 edition. So... Uh, evidently, you know, we're into August now, so it was done sometime between July, January, and July of 2017. Evidently, you know how long it's you know it could have been a 2016 beer aged in the, in the barrels uh, and then bottled in 2017. So, uh, don't know how long they left it in the barrels. So, he technically it could have been brewed in January and then put it into the bourbon barrels for a month or two or three and then bottled after that so it may be a 2017 completely brewed and bottled aged and bottled in 2017 not sure not sure so uh, and it's got no label written on the front of us their series I mean uh, off label is their series it says here off label brew series but uh, the name of the brewery is uh, no label Anyway, let's get on with this uh, commercial description on this beer. Uh, it's 11 percent or two, like I told you, 11.62 percent. So fairly big beer. Uh, commercial description. Let's see if we have anything. Uh, Untap says aged in Maker's Mark bourbon and Four Roses bourbon barrels. Uh, definitely heard of the Maker's Mark. Uh, that is a Extremely tasty high dollar uh, bourbon. Uh, Four Roses, I'm not familiar with. Uh, it may be awesome. Anyway, uh, should be a tasty beer, guys. It really should uh, age in, in those barrels. Uh, so let's get on with this. Uh, we've read you everything we need to read, so it's time to get the cap off of this bad boy and see what we got here. A little bit of hiss, a little bit of smoke. Alright, into the glass we go. I will tell you the cheese is a buttery, brie, gouda, havarti, swiss. Uh, the meat is smoked meat and salmon. Glass for the pint, back and nonic tumbler snifter. Tulip glass, I've got my favorite snifter. It says here can be sold for a long period of time. There's no reason that I would think of why you could not. So, it didn't pour any head at all. I can still see the beer through the top of it. So not even covering the top of the beer. Uh, over to the light, it is a rich, dark, brownish mahogany color. A little bit of uh, light coming through the thin part of the glass down here. But it's more brown than it is red. So, let's get a nose on it. Definitely smell some of the bourbon going on in here. It smells very nice. got a nice sweetness to the back end of it. Smells like a very, very well made beer. Almost smells like a barley wine with the sweetness and with the, uh, the barrel aging. Mm. 
a little bit of, to me, I'm getting a little bit of peat, peatiness in there. Peat malt, smoke malt. Rich roasted malt, caramel, toffee, molasses. Wonderful aroma. Very nice. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Brandon. I bet this was not a cheap beer to buy. I, I have heard this is like $20 for a four pack. But, you know, you're going to pay for that 11.62% uh, and then how long it set it in, in the bourbon barrels. And if they did it in Maker's Mark and Four Roses, then they probably blended those together to get what we have here. So, very nice aroma. Cheers. The bourbon is kind of subdued on the taste. It does have a nice sweetness like a body wine. Very smooth. For an 11.62% alcohol is super well hit. This is another one if you were drinking it at a bar or a group of, you could get into trouble real easy. This drinks like it's 8 or 9%, but you're drinking almost at 12%, 11.62. Very nice. That is very, very nice. The bourbon is not outstanding, though. Uh, my, my opinion, my humble, honest opinion. I would. Evidently, they didn't leave it in those barrels very long because the bourbon is not off the chain or anything. It's there, but it's very subtle. It's a very well-made beer, though. It is a very, very well-made beer. Very impressive. It's right out of the fridge. Let's let it warm up. Let her taste it. And I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. Been sitting up for a while now. Now that it's warmed up, the bourbon notes are a little more prominent. Very tasty. Very nice beer. Look at the bottle when I come back. Uh, Brandon did tell me it was a 2017. I don't know how he knows that. Uh, maybe the 4-pack or the 6-pack. Uh, I would think it would be a 4-pack at 11% had it stamped on it somewhere there but there's nothing written on the bottle and there's nothing written on the label that I can see uh, telling you what the vintage is uh, so uh, that would probably be enough for me not to buy the beer uh, they have the means of doing that guys whether they put another little label up here or print it on this one uh, uh, a lot of these guys want to reuse these labels like this year after year after year. That's why the information is not on the label. They reuse the labels uh, for different batches. Uh, and sometimes I don't see how they can do that because sometimes they, the ABV changes from batch to batch. So, I, my opinion, uh, there's room that they could put that on the label uh, or print it on the bottle somewhere in a bright yellow, white, or blue ink, and, and there's nothing on this. So, that's my biggest fuss. I uh, would like to see a vintage on there, even though he did tell me it was a 2017 vintage. So, we're taking his word for it. Uh, it's a very tasty beer. It's a very nice bourbon barreled Wee Heavy, or Scotch Ale. And, and now that it's warmed up, uh, there is a little bit of uh, some dark fruit in there, maybe some plums, dates, or raisins, figs. Very balanced beer. Now, the bourbon is not off the chain, outstanding, covering everything else up. Uh, very pleasant. Very nice beer. Final cut. The last, the last chug there, big time notes of the bourbon. It's a very tasty beer, guys. It's a very nice beer. Other than them not putting enough information on the label, uh, I do think it's an A beer. Uh, not having that printed on somewhere and him have to put uh, a piece of tape on it telling me it's a 2017 edition 
it would probably get a better grade from me if it had it written on the label or on the bottle somewhere and instead of him telling me that. Uh, to me, guys, it's a nine beer and an eight bottle, and that's where I'm going to put it. It's an eight for me, a minus 90. That's where I'm going to put this. Over to Beer Advocate. Beer Advocate says, hey, 90. Outstanding. I agree with that 100%. Over to Untap, they have it at 4.12, which is, in, to me, in their A- minus scale also. So, uh, it's an A- minus beer. It is an A beer, though. It is a very tasty beer. And like I said, I read uh, some people saying this beer costs like $20 for a four-pack. Kind of pricey for the information they're putting on it. Uh, if they put some kind of vintage or dating on it, I think it would be worth that, 11.62%, uh, 11 21 IBUs, very low bitterness on it, very nice, very easy drinking beer, uh, a very nice can to drink at home, uh, and if you're drinking this out in a bar or brew pub, if they have it on draft, just be aware you're drinking a monster beer, 11.62%, and uh, one glass of this is probably enough to get you a DUI, especially in the state of Virginia. So. If you're drinking it out, have somebody drive you that has this designated driver that hadn't been drinking. Because uh, you don't want to look at that flashlight at a road check shining down in your eyes. What have you had to drink tonight? It'd be a very ple unpleasant experience if you experience that. So trust me. I have a lot of friends. I've been damn lucky over the years that I did do that kind of uh, behavior. I do not do it now. Uh, I drink... Uh, 99.9% .9 of the beers here at the house, uh, whether it's a review beer or a go-to beer. So, uh, with that being said, if you've had this one from uh, No Label Brewing, their Perpetual Peace, uh, we have a Scotch Ale, Bourbon Barrel Age. Let me know what you think. Until we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.